I'm a sucker for point and click adventure games, so when I got a key for Tick's Tales in my inbox, I just had to give it a go. My plan was to play it for an hour or so and then do a first impressions, but since the game is very short, I quickly beat it and might as well as review it. Tick's Tale Up All Night follows the adventure of Tick, the town's troublemaker trying to become a knight so he can win the heart of his love, Georgia McGorges. Of course, not by regular means. It's a very simple point-and-click adventure game inspired by old-school PC adventure games, especially Monkey Island when it comes to the type of humor. And I think the biggest selling point of this game is its humor. I wouldn't say it's the funniest thing ever, but I actually found the game's humor to be quite charming. It's a mixture of light references, a little fourth wall breaking, and it's quite punny. Overall, the dialogues in this game are enjoyable, even though you could call them a little cheesy. There's no voice acting in the game, however there are a few recorded sound bites, and I do adore that they even did a cat impression. <coughs> the difficulty level is pretty okay, the game's puzzles aren't too hard to figure out. I'd even go as far as to say that they are blatantly obvious at times. Some of them pay a nice little homage to classics, like the prison escape scene from Monkey Island, or the fact that the game features a talking owl looking for his monocle, which is a nod towards King's Quest V. Graphically, it's very, very simple. It uses a very simplistic pixel art style like a lot of indie games do, but it reminds me a lot of the style used in Mac Pixel for some reason. There are about 12 or so screens in the game, and it's very small, and most of them are reused. It's not terrible, but you'll be walking around the same small city, across a few chapters of the game that it has. As a side note, the game also uses this sprite scaling technique, which means pixels aren't equal. It's more of a personal thing, but I find that looking not too good. It also features a shaky camera, which is one hell of a weird choice, but thankfully you can disable that. Going back to the lack of variety in locations, that's one of my main issues with the game. It's short. Really, really short. It's sweet and charming and fun to play, but it's just too short. I finished the whole game in around 2 hours, for the asking price of 8 dollars or 8 euros. I'm not so sure about recommending it. Another minus is that I think the game might have a memory leak problem. Over time, the game gradually eats more and more memory and around 2.5 gigabytes, that's a lot, it crashes on my system. And I'm pretty sure a 140 megabyte game shouldn't consume like 20 times more RAM than disk space. It's a minor issue though, as the game auto says often, I didn't lose any progress whatsoever but just had to deal with the inconvenience of loading the game again. Overall, it's not a bad game. I liked it, liked its humor, liked the puzzles, but I think it does lack content for the asking price. And this concludes my short video about a short game called Tick's Tales. And if you want more, be sure to click the like button and remember to subscribe for more. I'm TRG, out.